Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Fletcher coming to you in the early morning from the Floral Lab. And I want to talk to you for a second about skills before I teach you some taping skills, some floral taping skills. So last night I was here in the lab and made this video. And then I looked at the clock and I had to go pick up one of my kids from their practice. And I closed my Chromebook because I was late and I didn't save the video. So here I am making it again. And so my point this morning is sometimes we don't get skills the first time. Sometimes we make mistakes and you just have to pick yourself up and try again. And so today we are going to work on taping, which is a skill that is necessary, necessary in the floral industry. So we would use taping of flowers, um, stems, sometimes ribbon, uh, various applications, wire in the industry because it helps to take out the bulk of an item. Like if you take the stem off of a flower and you wire and tape instead, you make that a lot lighter. And so today we're going to use what's called a Gerbera straw. And you were given one of these in your take home package. And I have gone ahead and taped one in red. Now you have green tape. But I thought if I did it in red, it would be easier for you to see what I'm doing. And so uh, we have some different colors of tape available to us in the industry. We have different colors of greens, and that's because uh, flowers and plants have different colors of green on their stems, and you always want to try to match so that you're making this look as natural as possible, even though we are putting on what we call a mechanic. This is called a mechanic. We also have some exciting colors, like we have orange and red. Sometimes there's white if you're doing wedding work. And then brown is considered the best color for any hair color. So if you, even if you're blonde, even if you have red hair, uh, brown is considered the best color to blend in if you're making like a flower crown. That's another time when you would want taping skills. And we'll learn that in the future. So uh, this is called stem wrap or floral tape, the correct name is stem wrap. And it's an interesting product in that it's not an, an adhesive sticky kind of tape. It only sticks to itself and it only activates or works if you stretch it. And so what that means is when we are handling it, we need to handle it in a certain way in order for it to work correctly. So I always pull off a length from the spool so I'm not fighting against the spool as I'm working. And then what you're going to do with your Gerbera straw is this is a great item for us to practice taping on because it's perfectly straight and smooth, unlike a lot of our stems. So it's a good place to start. What you do is you put your tape in your dominant hand. So I'm right-handed. So I have this in my right hand and I have this straw in my weaker hand. And I'm going to start at the top. And I'm going to stretch the tape. So I'm, I'm putting some tension here. I'm going to pull it and I'm going to take it straight around the top until it overlaps so that it will stick to itself. Okay. But once I go around once and it's sticking to itself, then I need to angle down because what I want to do is work all the way down, right? So I'm going to angle down about halfway halfway um, down the wrap I already made and I'm going to continue to pull with my right hand and I'm going to twist with my left hand. Now very soon I'm going to move this left hand up to the top and the reason is because this left hand has a job and its job is to use our body heat to meld this tape so that it will actually stick even better. So strong hand is angling down and the weaker hand is following now. And what I'm doing with my weaker hand is I'm just pressing that tape on after I place it. Now, if you've ever wrapped horse's legs or you've put a band-aid, uh, not a band-aid, but a bandage, like you've wrapped a bandage around something, you know that the most economical way to do that is that each time you make a wrap, the next time you want to come about halfway down. Now our goal here is for our taping to be smooth and consistent. So it doesn't really matter right now how fast you go. 
what matters is that when you're done, it looks like all your stripes are about the same width and everything is smooth all the way down. And then as you get better, uh, you'll go faster. You should see some professional florists who work in floral design, you know, 8, 10, 12 hours a day for years and years. They are so fast, you wouldn't believe it. But right now, we are learning, so it's better that you work for quality than for speed. All right, when you get to the bottom here, after I do my last angled wrap, see how I have some left uncovered? So again, when I get to the bottom, I'm going to go straight around a couple times. And then you don't cut this with scissors. That is a time waster. This can be torn, so you just tear it off with your fingers. Okay, press that last part on so it's actually going to stick. And I'll try to put this where you can see it. And so our goal is that all of our wraps are about the same width. They're very consistent as we're going along and everything is smooth. Okay, so I want you to do this about five times. Not about, I want you to do it five times. Okay, you're gonna go down the straw five times. Yours will be all green, of course. When you start, make sure that you have somewhat of a straight edge. <laughs> That's a straight edge in stem wrap. Remember, you're gonna go straight around the top the first time to make it stick to itself. Make that nice and tight. If you have to go around twice, go ahead. And then after that, you start angling down. Now, if your straw is becoming misshapen, like you're, you're pinching your straw and so it's becoming more of an oval, it's okay. We do that with stems as well. Our uh, plant material is actually stronger than this straw. And so we would do that. We would push on the stems as we're doing this. Now you'll notice that I get this strong hand eventually very close to the straw. You can be out here and do it. I just lose a little bit of control. It doesn't come out as cleanly when I do that. But again, when you see a florist do it, who's really good at taping, they'll probably be holding it out here like this. Okay. Oh, I have a little gap there. I made a mistake. That's going to happen. And that's our point. That's why we're doing it five times because you're trying to get better at this skill every time you do it. And so the last wrap that you do is the one you're actually going to take a picture of, and then you're going to turn in the picture so I can see how you eventually did. And so hopefully each time you come around, you're getting better. When we get to the bottom, we're gonna go straight around, and then we're gonna break it off, okay? So when you're finished with this project, this little assignment, I need you to try to take a really nice, clear picture from this view. Show me your whole straw. Okay, I want to see the whole thing, both ends. And uh, just try to make it as clear as possible so I can actually see those stripes of where your taping ended up and I can see how smooth you got it. All right, so that is your first taping lab.